love story that has captured mm. the entire world's attention. Yep. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's romance transcending both sport and entertainment. And while Taylor is down under preparing for her blockbuster Sydney shows, rumours are swirling of a possible Travis touchdown. Oh, touchdown. Oh, sure, it's good, right? It's good. <laughs> and joining us to talk all about it is none other than Travis's dad. Hey, hey legend! Oh. There he is! Hey, how you guys doing? Very well. How are you doing? Fantastic. Well, what a couple of weeks it's been yeah. for you. Enormous. Run us through it. Yeah, it sure has been. It's been a great. It's been a good season. It's been. It's been hectic. A lot of travel, and uh, but a lot of fun. Yeah, he, he took home the big prize. I'm not talking about Taylor Swift. I'm talking <laughs> about the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he did. And they, you know, they got three of them now, so. Pretty amazing. You know, um, like I just watching uh, this last couple of weeks, and there's also there was also some pretty frightening moments for you as well, and with everything that happened in yeah. Kansas City. I mean, what was that like for you with the shootings? Well, for I didn't go to the I didn't go to Kansas City for the parade, uh, but but people that were there let, as soon as that started made sure that they uh, they got in touch with me, and I, I you know let me know that nobody right. that I knew was injured. There were you know. Mm. It's, it's, it's a shame that a wonderful celebration like that has to be marred by mm. by people who are just feuding with each other. Yeah. So it's not like this was a political thing or anything else. This is just people mad at each other. Yeah. Geez, well, it was such a, a full on season. Uh, mm. um, he was brilliant. I mean, both your sons. I mean, I, I can't, I, you know, can't fathom what it's like for a dad. I mean, they <laughs> played against each other in a Super Bowl. Um, and for, for Travis to, to come out and win this one, what did that mean for you? He's one of the greatest ever. They both are. Well, I mean, particularly when you consider they had a rough season, it wasn't yeah. – uh, things did not go the way they wanted for a good portion of the season and a lot of doubters out there. But, uh, you know, once the playoffs started, they, they turned it on and you know, the result is uh, – they got to pick up another wing, another ring this spring. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. And one thing is for sure as well is just how much Travis likes to party, right? We just saw his celebrations there when they took home the Super party Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of miss the party this time. They, they, that party gets a little too crazy for me. <laughs> really? Does it? I was going to say, where does he get yeah, it from? Was, uh... <laughs> That was, that was past my bedtime. <laughs> you know, he mentioned you um, on, on his podcast, which is sensational, um, with his bro, mm. um, about how you met um, Taylor. There, it was a private meeting, yeah. um, just you and four million cameras. <laughs> <laughs> what was she like? What was she like when you met and, and what do you think of her um, and the relationship? I think she's a, she's a very, uh, very down-to-earth, very grounded person, uh, when you consider all the attention and adulation that's that's that follows her, it's it's kind of remarkable that she is just like the girl next door. Mm. I mean, that's that's the only way I can put it. Really, she, uh, you know, I've told the story a few times. I'll tell it once more. First time we're at a game, we're in the suite, and you know, as guys do, we drink something or eat something. The plate, the cup gets set down wherever, right? Mm. And uh, gets up to go. I don't know if she's going to the bathroom, get something to drink, but she got up to go in the back of the suite, and she picks up a handful of empty cans and plates and stuff. And I don't know who else noticed it, but I did. Mm. And that really, that really speaks for. And if you meet her folk, when when I, I've met her folks, and and I know why she does stuff like that. That's mm. just the way she was raised. Yeah, isn't she is not the least bit obsessed with her with her fame uh she accepts it she loves what she does uh very hard worker very shrewd businesswoman she uh she puts everything into these shows mm. it sounds to me like you're not going to yeah. have a problem if they get married yeah it sounds like your son might have a key for that I, you know, I, 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 I got no comment on that but <laughs> i would have no problem. the boys the boys have always been fortunate and and that they they've attracted very wonderful women into their lives. Oh, so. <laughs> aren't you a big teddy Testament bear? Testament to you raising yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the world now wants to know, Ed, whether or not Travis is coming to Australia to be by Taylor's side. I don't know. I uh, I had heard a rumor to that, and I've got a call into him. 
I, I would, uh, I wouldn't be surprised what if he does. Why don't you call him now? I don't know that we'll try that. I actually called him a little while ago. Yeah. And uh, my understanding, he's uh, he's on a golf course someplace right now. Ooh. He does. He, he plays a lot of golf, but it's mostly in these charity events. Yeah. And I think that's what he's wrapped up now in, in, in a charity golf tournament someplace. So. <sighs> All right, I'm just going to scan the inter interweb now for a charity golf tra charity golf tournaments in Australia. Yes, that's just right. to see if he's uh, he may or may not be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, legend! Uh, I think you must be uh, very proud. You, you mentioned um, you know this relationship. You seem to have yeah. a good take on on people. Um, you know, Taylor included. Mm. The boys have worked really hard. Um, I, I was also listening to the podcast, and it said um, the boys grew up without having a single veggie um, in in their in their growing up period. Uh, just pizza from you is that true is that correct no hell no 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 <laughs> i'm sorry i don't i don't know what they're thinking uh, Mr. Mr. You, know, Boys. you had a you had a, you had a carb you had a, had a protein you had fruit and a veggie every meal. <laughs> now the nice thing about pizza is you get a lot of that right there everything except the fruit and yep. so yeah there yeah. were times when when they you know we go get two large pizzas and uh and their mother and I would get the crust. We have to share the crust with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> big eaters. Because we're growing big boys, yeah. <laughs> well, we get to see you. I mean, why don't you just get on a plane and come yeah, down? Yeah, we'll come look on after down. you. All right, we'll see about that. We'll yeah. see about that. Well, there you go. Um, look, it's it's wonderful talking to you. Um, it's uh, obviously been a huge year yeah. um, this past year in, in a lot of ways, privately and professionally for the lads. They really they really come across well, uh, down-to-earth fellas, um, you know, the sort of guys you you want to have 25 beers with on the weekend. <laughs> you well, know, yeah, that's... Uh... You know, and 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 if you were if you met them, that's probably what you'd end up doing. You know, when Jason took off yeah, his shirt, yeah, they the, are down. When they Jason, are very down to earth. When they Jason took off his answer. shirt at the game, sorry to interrupt. Uh, you know, when he took off the shirt uh, and was just parading around this big bear <laughs> of a man, that must have been a proud moment for you. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, it was. It wasn't surprising. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, Jason. Uh, Jason just just loves interacting with fans. Yeah, he's a legend. He fans of any sport, of any team. He he truly enjoys the athletics. Uh and sure, he uh he you know, he had been before that, you know, before the game, he had been tailgating with Buffalo fans and mm. had been in a oh at a, at a Buffalo pub, at a pub in Buffalo where yeah. everybody got there and, and stuff and had a great time. Uh I had no clue he was going to take the shirt off, but I'm not the least bit surprised. <laughs> oh, he just does what he wants. That's the best part. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just love to go to a Kelsey barbecue on the weekend. What do you guys get up to? I can only imagine. Well, it's, it's, uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Certainly, you know, in, here in Philly, it, 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 it all revolves around the girls, the granddaughters. Mm. You can imagine. Uh, who who have not surprisingly both their grandfathers and their father wrapped around their fingers yeah. and do whatever. Uh, and they have their uncle Trav wrapped around their fingers yeah. when he shows up. So certainly anything going on here in Philly is is generally centered around family and and uh, Trav Trav has some you know we've uh, we've had some some good barbecues out there. Uh, Enjoyed it. He has a lot of friends that'll show up. He's always seems like there's always somebody from back home in Kansas City, and uh, the boys are just they've been very fortunate. They have a very nice, a very tight circle of friends that they grew up with mm -hmm. that they see a lot, and uh, people that have always been you know that have been important in their life that have, have helped shape them into the young men they are, and. Uh, They've uh, they never forget that, you know, and they a, enjoy. It. That's they a lovely. A it's a lovely sentiment. I, the one thing I will tell you though is I'm not going to ever, if I was to ever coach him, I would never leave him off the paddock. Oh no! I mean, <laughs> look out, <laughs> danger zone. <laughs> what about that? Hey, thanks so much for joining us. We hope you can make it down. Sure. We really appreciate yeah. you coming on. We know you get a lot of requests and everything, um, but uh, we're sure. I do glad. get a few, but you know, this was worth it just to see Lily. You guys need to sign her before somebody else grabs her.
The yeah. young girl at the school that was on just a minute ago. Wasn't she right? We do need to sign her up. I was thinking the exact same it's, thing, Ed. It's great to have a Today Show viewer in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a legend, mate. Lovely to talk to you, and hopefully we'll get to the chance to talk to you again. I have a feeling it won't be the last time um, one of the boys is at the um, at the Super Bowl. So appreciate you being on. All right. Take care. Thanks, what a guys. Legend. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?